Right guys, this is a quick tutorial on how to mix, like DJ mix with uh, Sony Soundforge version 8. Uh, first of all, let's obviously I've loaded the program up. I've got two tracks here I'd wish to mix. So I've got this one here. First of all, what you need to do is you need to go into options and you status format and put it into absolute frames. And as you can see down there, down there options, status format, absolute frames. That changes. So first of all, we need to get 32 beats. We need to find the first part of the track. So we'll put an easy point, which might be here. Oh. Yeah, so that's the first beat. Let's have a look then. So you have to zoom in so you can get the very, very first beat. So it's quite difficult with this one. So we'll go with about, so about here. And then you scroll it along. And depending on the, the beats per minute of the track, will depend, depend how big this is. So I usually go just over 200. So I'd say about 252. So, right click, copy that, and now I would like to paste that, so paste it as a paste in new, and it, that there is here, if you understand what I'm saying. Anyway, so we need to get 32 beats of this track, so it's... So, we look then, it must be around about here. I think that's the first beat there. Oh, not, not quite. Yeah, it's about there. So, so it's about, oh, it's a bit difficult to see this one. So it's about, about here. Oh, about here. So now what we do is highlight the rest of that. And then delete that. So that's deleted. Now we've got 32 beats there. Exactly, so it's got, to be, it's got to be exactly right. That's you know, got to be precise. So we'll go back. This is two two five dot zero zero zero. Now we're going to do the same with this one. This is the track here. Yeah. This is the one we're going to mix into the the track above, which will be this one, right? So anyway, you need to get thirty two bits of this track as well. And to make it easier to mix, what you need to do is get rid of any empty space at the beginning of the track, which makes it a hell of a lot easier when you come across fading. So if you zoom in and you get literally get it to the exact point there. So I'd sit up there, yep. Highlight highlight it all and then cut that out. So it's gone. Right. So we need to do thirty two beats of this track as well. Exactly the same. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's the first. There it is. So zoom in. This one, this one's much easier, as you can see. Like the beginning of the uh, the, the beat, you need to latch onto. So you want to get out there. So what you're going to do is highlight the whole thing. Yeah, grab it like that. Zoom out if you need be, and then drag it right across to the very beginning where you cut it. So see so there you go. So if you right click on that, click on copy. And then you want to paste it to new. So you've got two tracks now. You've got the top one, and you've also got the bottom one. And if you look, that one at the bottom is slightly is uh, was it slightly faster. So what you need to do, actually, not slow that. Yeah, slow. Yeah, sorry, my bad. So what you need to do is get the two two six, the same speed as the two two five. So I use the uh, calculator program, which is quite quite easy. So let me calc. And what you need to do is type in two two six point seven seven one, and you divide that. 
divide, yeah, by the by the two two five. So it's divided by two two five point zero 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 or just two two five. Press enter. And now you need to multiply this by the frequency of a CD. So a frequency of a CD is always forty four point one zero zero hertz. So you, yeah. Forty four point four four seven one one six. So it's so what you need to do now is the one you want the one you want to change is the one at the bottom. So you click on that one. So what was the uh, figure again? Forty four point four four seven. So it's process resample set the sample rate only. Forty four point four four what was it again? Seven I think it was. Seven yeah. Forty four point four four seven. Enter and see it's very, very, very close, but that's as close as you're going to get it really. Right, so when you've done that, you also want to do it to the full track, which is this one. So you do it re sample again, 44447, enter, and now that's changed that track to the same speed as this one. Right, but it's still, if you look down the bottom, it's still 44.447. You've got to do another re sample on it. So what you do is go process, re sample. And then you want to convert it back to 44.1 and make sure that's unticked, which I already did. Click OK. Now it's going to resample. Right, now that's resampled. And yet you can't really see if it's all like, it's all clipped out. So another thing I do when I've done this bit. I go to the have it the whole track like that. See, so that you go to process volume, and I knock it down by a decibel, which I've roughly about which I've already pre-done. So there, let's say minus one decibel. So click OK. And I'll do the same with this one. Volume one. And it's, it kind of stops clipping when you're crossfading as well. As you can see, you can probably see the uh, the tops of the beats. So right, let's have a look. So are yeah, you? I mean, we'll, we'll have to start a we'll start at this in the dark. See what my way along it. Hopefully, it's uh, beat matched. So I'll I know I'll go from about to here. Let's see what it sounds like. <laughs> Roughly around here, so I'll zoom in a bit more. So it's that one. There we are, that's our first beat. Now we need to get it exact. So we'll say, let's say this track's a bit awkward, but we'll go from about there and see what it sounds like. So you want to highlight the whole area. Like that, yeah. You can use a space bar to play, you don't have to click on the play at the top. Anyway, so that's one three yeah yeah. So what we'll do is we'll grab a chunk of the audio from here. Just enough to cover the whole thing. So there we are. Copy that. Hopefully this is gonna beat match either. I'm uh, pinning my hopes. So right click on it. Actually no, you can't do it that way. So yeah, you wanna go to edit, paste special, and then mix and see what it sounds like. And if it doesn't sound like it's going out of the uh, sync, it's perfect. So we'll play that. Now, we'll go a bit further towards the end and see if it's still in sync. doesn't sound too bad actually so what we'll do now since we've we know it's it's roughly in sync we'll undo the mix so what we need to do now you want to copy this again and then you want to paste the special again we'll paste special and crossfade and what you need to do is you just need to play around with these options really so this is the beginning this is the source the, you know the original track how, where the volume starts so well, I know, we'll go we'll go ten percent to say and it will end it on 10%, see what it comes out like. Click OK. 
So it's not too bad, it hasn't clicked up too much. We'll play it and see what it sounds like. So as you can see that sounds pretty decent, so what I'll do is undo that, undo the crossfade, so you've got all the old points where I want to mix it in from. You need to highlight the whole of this track, uh, copy that, and then you want to paste it into there, so you want to edit, paste special, crossfade, yeah, got that, click OK, and what it'll do is mix both those tracks together, that's in full length. And there we go. That's two tracks mixed. And then what you do with this, you'd save this out to so your file, save as, uh, we'll save it to D, we'll just save it there. Uh, mix to tutorial. There we go. And that's saved as mix to tutorial. I usually save these out as to make my life a lot easier. I like the ones where you've cut them out so you can compare them to the next track. So, but you know, you can just play around with it until you see how you go with this. Okay.